land, oil. Wars are fought for any number of reasons, but on the battlefield, every soldier has to find his own. As things turned out, me and my buddies found a pretty interesting one. deemed expendable by the army. They call it bad company. A mismatched bunch of rejects placed to serve our country as cannon fodder. My name is Preston Marlowe. They could have thrown me in jail for what I did, but instead they transferred me here. This is my story. Private Preston Marlowe reporting for duty, sir. You sure you're in the right place? I believe so, sir. People have died now. Did I say 22? Oh, and then this is like, B Company, right? Yep, sure is. But you want to cut out that sir, yes, sir crap? I'm a sergeant, not the goddamn president. Okay, sorry, sir. I mean, sergeant. Yeah, whatever. That one over there, his name is Sweetwater. Hey, welcome to the sandbox. His name is Hacker. Hey, how you doing? You smell very clean. My name's Redford. You can call me that. Or Sarge. We're all in this mess together now. Right, Sarge. Do you know what squad I'm supposed to belong to? A new guy trying to smell like a brand new toy. Yeah, I'll give you three to two. He's dead by Friday. Sarge? You can ride with us. New guy. New guy. Okay. Let's get to know the others. Haggard over here, he's a natural born demolition expert. What? I just like it when stuff blows up. Yeah, and that's just fine as long as it's the enemy stuff. Yeah, that's sweet water. But if you ever need somebody to talk a hole in your head, guess what you got. That's a cheap shot. I don't really talk that much. Shut up. Bravo Come one, on. Charlie. This is Mike One Juliet. Over. Oh, listen, it's the new dispatch girl, Miss July. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Over. You ought to move up ahead of the convoy to scout the terrain. I'll get back to you with further orders. Out. Oh, she's got a real nice voice. Sweet one. Check it out. It's Calvary. Yeah, isn't it amazing how we always go towards the fighting and they're always flying in the opposite? I hope those are our guns. It's a beautiful sound either way. This is our boss. Ah, typical. Quit your whining, sweet. It's about time we got some action. Look at the new guy. He's... Already? I was just about to learn his name. I think it was probably Joe. Usually is. His name is Preston. Preston Marlowe. And he's not dead. Right, soldier? Let's see if you're okay. Try following my instructions. Look up. Okay, now look down. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. Uh, the dulcet tones of Miss July. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Over. We're getting some heavy shelling from grid 641. You've got to go ahead to take out the artillery base. Out. You heard the lady. We're taking the artillery base. That's not playing it very safe. My middle name is not safe. Well, actually, it's uh, Gordon, but... Uh... Sir, 
So, the field manual's kinda hazy on four-man assaults on heavy artillery positions, but I was thinking maybe, uh... Now let's just get up there and kill them to teeny tiny pieces. No, listen. We're not taking any chances. We go in as a team and we stay in cover as far as possible. Now move out. Okay? Never been better! I'm fine. New guy's fine too. Way to go, new guy. Staying alive. Very good start. Regroup! Hey, look! That's our... Level one, Charlie. Are the artillery guns still intact? Juno convoy hit some trouble down by the bridge. Over. Mike one, Juliet. You want us to use the enemy guns? Over. Affirmative. Bracket the hostiles by the bridge, boys, but be advised, we've got friendlies in the area. Out. I ain't gonna do it. If I hit our guys, y'all gonna yell at me. Hey, crazy idea part two. Let the new guy do it. Good one. Juno is clear! Here goes nice the rain! Shooting. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike one, Juliet. Juno convoy needs an alternative route. The bridge is shot to hell. Now there's a river crossing up ahead that'd be perfect. You boys go sweep away the bugs. Over. Okay, we're on it, Mike. One, two, yeah. Out. I could sure use a break from all this walking. Why don't we try to find some ride? Oh, yeah. We could get one of those monster trucks. Like, uh, Truckosaurus Rex. I'll bet that surprised the hell out of those Russians. I really don't know how to respond to that, Haggett. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie, over. Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet. Great work at the River Passage, boys. I've got a new job for you straight away. You are go for Objective Mustang, over. Could you tell her I said hi? Objective Mustang, affirmative, out. Okay, listen up, boys. There's a farm due west, possibly held by Russian forces. We're going to scout it and clear out any hostile. So new guys. I bet you're wondering how three nice guys like us ended up in bad company, right? <laughs> I bet he won't be wondering for long. Well, Haggard got transferred here for blowing up the biggest ammo dump east of Paris. I, myself, accidentally uploaded a virus to the Army Secure Network, and the Sarge... Well, why don't you tell him yourself, Sarge? I made a deal. They cut my term short if I agreed to transfer here. Only problem is B Company has the highest mortality rate in the Army, so the Sarge is really playing long odds for three more days. Then I'm going fishing and you can have this war all to yourselves. So we'll pretty much be playing it safe from here on. Do you hear that? I thought I heard something. Is this another joke about me talking too much? Because if it is, I can tell you that- That's right. It's coming from the barn. Oh, crap! Ah! One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. You've got air support inbound. Stay low and wait for the bird. Out. Bravo One Charlie, this is Super 65. I'm inbound to your AO. Hang tight. Out. Got a visual on the LZ. Stand clear. Out. Here's a 65. I'm here. I'm here. trouble getting an evac chopper to your position, so you're going to have to keep working for a while. What's your status? Over. We're good to go. Over. We are rerouting your squad to deal with the anti-air battery at Objective Impala. This is your new objective. Out. Listen, guys. Object Impala is an anti-air enforcement. Our orders are to take it out. Gear up. I wonder what Miss July would like to do for a weekend getaway. You wouldn't have the guts to ask her. 
This is a war, Sweetwater. You don't get the weekend off. Yeah, well, someday this war's gonna end. Wash your mouth out with soap. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. This is Bravo One Charlie Actual. Over. Great work on those AA guns. Not quite time to kick back yet, though. The trucks you spotted seem to be headed for a farm to the east. It may be a supply dump, and if you're still in the fight, you're our best shot to take it out. Over. Yeah, yeah, we've got it. Over. Then you are go for Objective Bronco. Out. Okay, guys. It seems we've got another farm to secure before I can leave for that fishing trip. Buckle up. Hey, Preston. You wouldn't have a couple of bucks to borrow me. Don't give him any. He's always trying to borrow from rookies. Yeah, because you die so fast that most of the time I don't have to pay back. No offense. No, why should he be offended? Heavens to Betsy. You're just trying to steal his money while you wait for him to die. I figure if I hit a hundred rookies for ten bucks, that's uh, ten thousand dollars for the Haggard Retirement Fund. Yeah, or you could use it to brush up on your math. Yeah, when you're rich, you don't need math. Russians are on the move! Charlie Actual, reporting success on Objective Taurus. Over. You've done great, Sergeant. And you're all still there? Over. Actually, I think we've lost Sweetwater. Come again? Over. Dismiss that. Out. Sweetwater! I'm sorry, Sergeant. I'm over here, Sarge! And I think you'd all better get in here. Boy, this better be good. You haven't gone and hurt yourself, have you? If they ship you home as well, I'll be alone with the new guy. Uh, <laughs> come here, take a look at this. He's not Russian? Nope. We got ourselves a mercenary. One of the Legionnaires, no less. Whoa, the Legionnaire? I thought that was just a spook story. Nah, he's real. Got his own damn army. Some say the deadliest in the world. Now look at this. Acta non verba. That's the Legionnaire's motto. It's Latin, and it means action, not words. Hang on, I was at the Taco Emporium. I think you'll find that Spanish. Oh, just shut up. Then your motto should be verba non acta, because you never shut the hell up. Let's get out of here. Uh, you, you should listen, Sarge. Knowledge is power. For example, rumor says he always pays in gold bars. I'll just check uh, for a pulse in his pockets. Well, slap me hard and call me Eldorado. Okay, Eldorado, let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, finders, keepers, out the So, that's how it started. We found this little piece of gold. To people with less moral fiber, that might have posed a problem. But, we're all men of duty. So, when the sergeant said the gold belonged to the army, we all agreed, 
and got back to work. With Uncle Sam being so busy with the war and all, and the gold bar being so small, we thought it was best if we held on to it for him, splitting it four ways. Not that everybody was happy with that arrangement. Well, maybe it won't buy you a whole truck, but you can start with the hubcaps and build from there. Shut your trap, Sweetwater. Oh, we're going to Zabagrad, huh? Nice place? It's 20 clicks behind enemy lines. In Port and Harbor. The Army's launching an offensive, and we're going to be the first ones to go in. Haven't they got guys specially trained for that? Well, we're going in before them. They're too expensive to waste. Yeah, that makes sense. Weren't you supposed to be shipping home about now, Sarge? Tomorrow, Haggard. One more day of this shit, and the only thing I'm going to be fighting a blue mark. Yeah, I hear you, Sarge. Next up, the Caribbean. Well, after Zabograd. Zabograd a ding dong. Hey, Sweets, ain't this the same fancy thing that was on that dead guy? Back to non -verba. Yep, sure is. Let's check it out. Could be a trap. Hey, new guy, you check it out. Another piece? We've got to be closing in on that mother load. Yuka, don't be idiot. Do we have any On the smoke! Regroup! Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. This is Bravo One Charlie Actual. Over. You are go for objective backfield. Out. Okay, listen up, guys. Our armored division is moving in, and our job is to cut off Russian supply lines before they get here. Let's get ready. This is the plan. We hit the weapons depot first. Once we have that area secured, we regroup and we move on to the fuel dump. Excuse me, Sarge, but wouldn't it be easier to do it the other way around? Or, or we could split up into teams and take them both at the same time. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Or I could shoot the two of you and do this thing along with Marlo. Uh, okay, we'll do it your way. You're the boss. Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. We have a Russian advance team approaching the bridge. They're your priority target. You cannot let them control the bridge. Over. Mike One Juliet, we spread real thin down here. How about some air support? Over. Bravo One Charlie, negative on support request. I've got nothing for you right now. Can you deal with the situation? Over. Yeah, we can deal. Out. I hate being dependable. Sarge, see that thing over there? I think it's a Russian mortar guidance system. Interesting. Bet we could use it against them. Hell of a bet, Sarge. Hell of a bet. Keep them low! That's a hit! Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. The Russians are in better shape than we thought. We need you to take out the defensive positions. That's objective offside for the record. Out. Did she sound a bit upset? I thought she sounded upset. That can't be a good sign. Must have been something you said. I said? I, I never talked to Listen her. Listen up. Objective offside is a backup plan. It means our tanks are in trouble. We better get those guns right now and stay in line this time. I think that's the last one. Damn it, this town is going to need a makeover. Bravo, one Charlie. This is Mike One Juliet. Over. 
This is Bravo One Charlie Actual. Over. Seems you saved the day again. Things got a little hectic up here. Over. Yeah, well, they're pretty hectic down here, too. I can hear you, Sweetwater, but you're doing a fine job. Over. She knows my name. Focus, boys. Focus. Your orders are to rendezvous with the armored division at the beachhead. Out. Rendezvous at the beachhead. We're moving out. She knows my name, Haggard. She knows my name. I've been thinking about Miss July. How do you know she's good looking? I have this cousin who has a beautiful voice, but a face like a can of dog food. Is that the one that you dated? Yep. Cool. Well, well, look who decided to show. Better late than never, I guess. Even though we've already pretty much finished the job for him. How come those guys get all the cool toys? They look good in those photos they stage for the press. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Your orders are to join up with the 32nd Armored Division for the final push into Zabograd. Over. Yeah? We were hoping for some R&R &R at this point. Over. That's just gonna have to wait. We're low on troops right now, so Command is throwing everything we've got at that town. And that includes your squad. Over. I hear you. Out. You had nothing to do with it, right? We're clear. We're clear. Good work, boys. We got them through. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Over. We're going to keep you out of the main battle for a while. But there's something else I need you to do. Over. I bet there is. Over. I need you to find the Zabograd command post and disable their communications before they call in any reinforcements. You do a good job on this? Maybe I can get your boys out of bad company. Over. If it's getting us out of here, we're all over it. Right, Sarge? Mike One Juliet, we're gonna go take a look. Out. Let's move out. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Looks like you were too late, Sergeant. They made the call. More hostiles inbound. Over. We moved as quickly as we could. Over. You're supposed to go home tomorrow, Sergeant. This is no time to start making mistakes. I need you to get your act. What was that? Bravo One Charlie, you've got a new priority order. We have a downed tank in the city square. I need you to find a good defensive position and protect it until our engineers can get it out. You hear me, Sergeant? Over. Roger that. Any further information about what they're throwing at us? Over. No intel on that. I'm sure he'll find out. Out. We're on it. Out. You heard her. We go to the square and we try to get a visual on that tank. Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. The enemy is evacuating a large weapons cache. Should be a good opportunity for the final push on the harbor. And try not to screw up this time around. Out. Harbor, eh? You think there might be some mercenaries down there? Why, because you think they may have some gold? Yeah. Let's go. Look, they're leaving. All of them. We actually did it. You think we're going to get that transfer? I don't know, but you've deserved it. Yeah, right. Hey, check it out. Down by those trucks. Those are mercs, right? Looks like that. Should we stop them? You know, uh, ask some questions, maybe search them? Our orders are to secure this area, so I guess... What? No, hang on. Well, what happened to not taking any chances? What about playing it safe? These guys could be dangerous, and you're going home tomorrow, remember? This'll only take a minute. Can we get back to the others now? Nothing. Not even a nugget. Where are they going so fast? You lost them, 
you imbecile. Now I know what I'm doing. This is a shortcut. You know what you do. You know what you do. If I had a penny for every time you said that, I wouldn't be needing this gold. Those are the trucks. I told you it was a shortcut. They're crossing the border now. We can't follow them any farther. Where did the hackers go? There's gold in them other hills! Shit, that's a neutral zone. Hacker, fall back! He can't hear you, Sarge. If he could, he wouldn't listen. I hate to say this, but we have to go and get him back. Do we, I mean, do we really have to go and get him back? I mean, have to? Move out. So, Haggard had pretty much single-handedly invaded a neutral country. Not the best move. Is this your idea of fun, Haggard? Well, yeah. May I ask you why? The gold! Didn't you see it? I mean, Sweetwater can never swallow a piece that big. Just shut it, Hag. Give me one good reason that I should not send your ass to jail. Well, because you love me, Sarge. In a Plutonic way. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie, over. I hope you have a very good explanation for this, Sergeant, over. It was my call. We had to, you know, retaliate a hostile. You know, a threat, over. Just get yourselves back to base, over. That's fine with me. I was planning to go fishing anyway, over. You're facing court martial. I don't think you're going to go anywhere for at least nine to 12 months. Out. Shit. That was bad, wasn't it? That was bad. It was bad, Hags. It's about as bad as anything we've ever done. Whatever no. you've done, it's as bad as that. Not like Chris Christopherson's third album. Oh, bad. Worse. Worse. Oh, no way! Let me think. Let me think. So, where does this leave us? We're here, ain't we? What? Where'd those trucks go? Oh, no, no, Sarge, you can't be serious. Yes, I am. What? You want to go after the gold? I will never get any medal from the army, will I? You guys coming or what? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that this is happening for the right reasons. Gold sweets, 24 carats. What kind of motivation do you need? What do you think, Preston? Hell, I guess I could use a couple million, same as everybody else. Uh, guys, wait up! I think the trucks went up that way. I'm gonna catch up with them. Sarge, Haggard's running away again. Shit, look at that. I know, he runs like a girl. No, I'm talking about something else. I bet we just got broadcasted live to every shooter in this godforsaken country. But if we blow the antennas, can't track what you can't see. It'll get the U.S. Army off us too, Sarge. Hey, Sweets, you keeping an eye out for those trucks? You know that greed's one of the seven deadly sins, right? So is killing people. Uh, no, actually, you're thinking about the Ten Commandments. Now, the seven deadly sins are greed, avarice, lust... Sweet water. Just shut up. Absolutely, Sergeant. Where do you think those trucks are going? I think there's a harbor that way. You know these things, and I don't. That's really weird. Well, that's why I'm in charge. Yeah, about that. Now that we're AWOL, you're not really a sergeant anymore, are you, Redford? Hmm. Either you do as I say, or I'm gonna have to beat your ass into submission. Yeah, okay. It was just, you know, uh, a technical question, Sarge. Well, don't ask me no technical questions. This place is heavily guarded. Well, we're heavily armed. Are we really going in here? I know the trucks are in there. I just know it. All right, let's have a closer look. Yes. Hey, that's a big boat! Sweet! Tell me about the Legionnaire. Cargo holds loaded with gold, right? Lots and lots of gold. Let's take a look. Quiet.
just always wanted to say that. Why? Sounds cool. Really shut him up. You shut up. Look around. That arm. Say goodbye to the gold. So, I wonder what Jail's gonna be like. I hear the food's pretty good. Yeah, I got a feeling the food is gonna be the least of my problems. Dropping the soap is what I'm worried about. I hate that. It's all mush in your hands. You can't grab it. Slip you two just shut up. Even though Sadaristan was officially neutral, military intelligence was suspicious and dying to get a closer look. The four of us, already officially AWOL, just happened to fit the bill. Instead of sending us to prison, they gave us an offer that, you know. So, explain this one more time. First, they're angry with us for going into Sadaristan, but then they send us back in. They want us to find Zavomir Sadar. Zavomir, sir, did you say? Zavomir Sadar, father of the people, local dictator and all-around creep. Officially, he's neutral, but he's been playing both sides in the war for a very long time. Maybe his luck ran out. Anyway, we're here to persuade him to come in with us, all undercover style. So now we can go in and, and no one's gonna mind. Officially, the army's got nothing to do with this. If anyone catches us, we're still AWOL. Now let's find that observation point. Is that a golf course? Of course it's a golf course. That's what dictators do. Build things they really don't need while their people starve. Hey, there's our job. It's flying really close to those bases, though. Ah, it shouldn't be a problem. Officially, they're on a search and retrieve mission. The Daristan guys won't touch it. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Shit. Oh, shit! Shit! Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Looks like these guys ain't neutral anymore. Over. Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet. We know. We know. Now get moving and find Sadar and... Yeah, but how do we get him out without an extraction bird? Over. I was getting to that. There are three enemy SAM sites. You take those out, you'll get your extraction chopper. Eventually. Roger. Out. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie, over. Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet, over. Okay, all three SAM launchers are out, but this operation isn't exactly covert anymore. Over. You're doing good work, Sergeant. I'm not authorized to give you helicopter support at this time, but I'm dropping off a surprise that's gonna make your lives a little bit easier. Make your way to the drop zone ASAP. Over. Affirmative. We're Oscar Mike to the drop zone. Out. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Looks like you've stirred up a hornet's nest. We're seeing a whole lot of activity around the palace. Over. We're not exactly equipped for all-out war here. Over. There's a supply station close to your current location. I'm uploading the coordinates. Get over there and stock up. Over. Affirmative. Out. You heard her. Let's go shop. Watch my fight! I think it's the president. What's he saying? Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it, it sounds like he's asking for help. What kind of help? I don't know. I, I think he's locked himself inside the safe room, and he can't get out. We'll get him out of there. Let's find him. Come on. Wow! This is an actual palace. It's like a, um... Versailles? No. Buckingham Palace? No! Disneyland? What's it called? Xanadu. Doors open! How did you murder two poor out here? But a gym been peeled list in piggy. Finish one yard, push me out. Uh, 
Uh, he, he thinks we're not being nice. Something about an enema, I think. Uh, and he doesn't want to come. Oh, uh, he done pissed me off. What you? Uh, somebody translate this for me. What you really want isn't the question here. Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, Presidentia. Um, yeah, e Excellentia. Let me try. Your Excellency, Mr. Uh, Presidentskov. Haggard, no, you, you don't speak, sir. Just shut up. I am in no need of witless translation. My English is holy immaculate. Well, then you'll have no problem understanding this. We have come to bring you in. Bring you in. Just you. Just us. <laughs> Four puny military. Four puny military. Damn it, Haggard. Four puny military is no invasion. He's trespassing. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. We have the package. Repeat, we have the package. Request immediate extraction. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Leave the package. Repeat, leave the package. And you're not going to like this, Sergeant, but extraction is denied. Over. Denied? What do we have to do to get the bird here? Over? I hate to tell you this, boys, but it's not gonna happen. We're going for deniability. You're on your own. Over. What do you mean we're on our own? How do we get out? Over? Any way you can. This isn't my call, boys. There's nothing I can do. They're telling me to cut you loose. I'm sorry. Out. So it's like that, then. Fellas, they're leaving us hanging out to dry. Ah, shit. Now we're never getting out of here. I may have means for our escape. Our escape? I am afraid the father of Sedarishtan people now has no other recourse than exile. It was a mistake to request the services of these mercenaries. Hang on a minute. The legionnaire is holding you here? Well, since I could not deliver the amount of gold he requested, he has appropriated my nation. But I will prevail. The Sadaristan people will rise up and demand the return of their beloved father. This guy's funny when he's in a hallucinogenic rage. And what's more, he may come in handy. Yeah, right, like tits on a bull. Well, just sit up already and tell us how to get out of here. Now, this is state with transportation for VIP. Quite improper for your unhygienic smelly bum bums. But what about the unhygienic decor? I mean, is that a mirror ball? Although I have to confess, a hot tub is a very nice touch. Now, let me see how you fly this. Hold on. Get out of that seat. No fun. Preston, show us your stuff. Preston, you the man. I'll give it a shot. So, there we were. Crammed in a pimped out Russian hind with a megalomaniac and a rack full of bad CDs. Left to die by our superiors and with the world's deadliest army using us for target practice. It wasn't the first time I'd flown a chopper, but the circumstances were sort of special. Okay, guys, get the bird refueled and let's get her up in the air. I'll do it. I'll do it, Sarge. We'll be out of here in no time. Well, don't get me wrong, I want to get out of here too, but where are we going exactly? Not to worry, around next bend is beautiful Polio Lova National Bridge. His name for my mother. A bridge? A bridge to where? Oh, to Russia. To Russia? We don't want to go to Russia. I am devastated to inform you that there is no alternative unless we want to stay in the vicinity of my once loyal troops. Speaking of bitch. What the hell was that? What did you do to the chopper, Haggard? What? Wasn't me. Honest. I was filling it up and it just blew. You put the gas in there? That's the cooling unit. Oh! We're like a few feet or not Shut up, you two. Sweetwater, get this started.
This is the border. We are leaving beautiful Sedaris, Dad. And this is where you are getting off. For an exile, it is quite inadequate. I'm in need of further transportation. Well, where we're going, you can't come. Yeah? But where exactly are we going? You've got a short memory, Sweetwater. I know. The gold. You're talking about the gold. But we don't know where they took it. With all the mercs around here, I bet we can find out. You are talking about the gold of Treacherous Legionnaire. <laughs> I know where it is. You know where it is? Yes, yes, of course. And I am sure we can come to some agreement. Oh, yeah. You hear that, sweet? Yeah. But I'd like to come to some agreement about the Black Chopper coming up behind us. What? Shit! Marlo! Turn her around! Hang on! There has to be better ways to start a new career. But you know what they say about hitting the bottom. It really, really hurts. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Over. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Everyone's gone. I think they've been taken. I don't know what to do. Please advise, over. Is anyone there? Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. You're back. Can you help me out, over? Officially, we're denying all knowledge about your trip to Sadaristan. As far as command is concerned, you're AWOL as well as dead. But I just can't quit on my boys, over. You don't know how glad I am to hear that. Do you have a location fix on me? Over? Looks like Russia to me. Over. I think my squad's been taken prisoner. Can you send someone to help me out? Over? Negative. This is strictly extracurricular. Listen, I can see you on the satellite, and I'll try to help, but you can't contact me. Understand? Over. I got you. Over. I'm picking up radio signals from a village near your position. Some kind of military installation. I think you should look for your boys there. Out. Thank you, Miss July. I am still the president of Sidoris Den. You must not treat me as a disobedient donkey. You tried to run away from your debt, Mr. President. I will treat you any way I like. I did not run stupid. Imperialist Americans took me on perilous flight. But now they are locked in monastery cell, awaiting execution. Harsh, no? <laughs> but very fair. Yes. And unless you come up with the gold you owe me, you will share their debt. Is, is that transmitting? Anyone hear me? Save me! Preston, great to see you, buddy. Now we thought you were dead for sure. What are you doing here? Uh, looking for you. So, you came to rescue us. That's great, man. I mean, well, not really necessary, but thanks anyway. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad to have you back, Marlo. But we need to get out of here before the enemy regroup. Yeah, we gotta try and find this uh, Sirdar fella, because he knows where the gold is. Have you seen him? Do you know where he is? Not really, no. But Haggard figures if we just stumble around the monastery for a while thinking happy thoughts, maybe we'll run into him. I mean, that is the plan, right, Haggard? I wouldn't have put it exactly like that, but yep, pretty much. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Are you still with me, Marlo? Any luck finding the others? Over. Oh, he's had a little bit of luck. Over. We're all here. How you doing yourself? I swear, you are from SweetVoices.com. I know it. <laughs> Yeah, she told you, Haggard. Since you asked, I am fine, thank you. And I'm very glad to hear you're all back together. Over. We're trying to locate Sirdar. You got an idea where they might be holding him? Over. I don't know, but there's a lot of activity down by the river mouth. Maybe you should check there. Over. Okay, Mike Juliet. Stay in touch. Over. I'll do 
Hey, that's the same chopper that brought us down at the border. Yeah, and I have a pretty good idea who it belongs to. Look, it's the president. It seems your American friends have escaped. They won't get far. Those imperialist pigs are not my friends. You tried to escape from your debts, and they helped you. It was no escape, but an abduction. Most fine. I realize now that I will never get the gold you owe me. I will forget about your debt and take your country instead. <laughs> Absolutely not a problem. I will go into exile, live a quiet life. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Kill him. I will not beg for my life. Uh, both you motor mouths. Shut up. Just follow me. It's a miracle. I'm not dead. Hello, your highness. Remember us, Pookums? Yes, yes. Imperialist pigs. Very nice. Just shut up already. Let's take that boat. The father of the Sadaristan people put us back on track. He told us that the gold was in the Legionnaire's tanker, in Cadiz, the diamond of the Caspian Sea. Well, it could have been if they had finished building it. And the president himself? He got the exile he had wished for. Yes, yes. Hmm. Harsh, <laughs> but fair. Hey, guys, look. Here it is. Yeah. I told you we'd see that boat again. It's a legionnaire, all right? Well, at least we're in the right place. So, how are we going to do this? We're going to have to take the long way around. Let's start by securing the beach. I kind of like this place. Looks like somewhere I could go for a vacation. Sure, if you don't mind the snipers or the mines on the beach. Or the smell of death? Actually, guys, if memory serves, they were about to build a big resort thing here before the war started, and, uh, you don't really care, do you? Listen, if we ever had a shot at the gold, this is it. Let's find a vehicle and go around to the coast in Sadis. We'll try to get as close as possible to that ship, and then... And then we'll what? Then we'll improvise. Okay, guys, uh, am I the only one starting to get cold feet about this? Yep. Embrace the suck, sweet. Embrace the suck. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Did you boys take a wrong turn? You're in Cadiz, over? No, we're KIA, remember? What we're doing is nobody's business anymore. Over. I guess you're right, but you're making it awfully hard for me to help you, and Cadiz is a hornet's nest, over. Sarge, tell her. You remember when I hung up on you back in Sadaristan? We were on the track of some gold. The Legionnaire's gold, if that means anything to you. Over? I've heard the stories. Over. We've got some pretty good intel saying it's here. We're gonna try to grab it. Over? Things being what they are, I can't really blame you. But be advised, U.S. forces are moving into the area. Looks like it might be quite a brawl, so watch out for friendly fire. Over. <laughs> I don't even know which fire is friendly anymore. Over? And hey, don't you boys forget me if you hit the mother load. Out. Just tell me your favorite color, baby. What the hell? Artillery? So we're friendly. We're friendly. Shut it, sweet. We're in an enemy vehicle, remember? Rest it. Get us out of here, fast. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike One Juliet. You're about to get some company. Over. Hostiles? Over? No. 
We're launching a counter-offensive, and the first wave will reach your position in a couple of minutes. We're gonna secure the bridges to the south, and then we should be able to take the rest of town pretty easily. Watch out for friendly fire. Out. Shit. The U.S. assault is coming this way. If they catch up with us, we're never gonna be able to get that gold. She said something about bridges, right? If we blow those, maybe you can hold them long enough to get to the ship. You want to stop the U.S. advance? Wouldn't that be, like, treason? I'm not saying stop it. I'm saying hold it off for a while. Not the same thing. Oh, I think it'd be enough to get us executed. As far as the Army's concerned, we're already dead, remember? And Haggard's right. We gotta blow those bridges. Mercenaries. Great. So now we're fighting the mechs, the mercenaries, our own boys. Hey, wouldn't it be great if the Russians showed up, too? We're not gonna get past. We've gotta create some kind of diversion. Haggard, you up for it? Can I bring Preston? Yeah, the two of you draw their attention, and Sweets and me will see if we can find that gold. So, it wasn't a spook story. It's true. Tons of gold. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Well, I'll be damned. I really didn't want to ruin the moment, but we had no idea how we were going to get the gold out of there. And the bad guy was still, you know, alive and kicking. Come on! We need to get out of here! I think I know where to find one! Follow me, but fast! I think... I think we lost them. You think? Was that your idea of a plan? I'll oh, just sip it, you two. Now it's payback time. You sound tense, Sarge. You sleeping all right? I don't know, Haggard. I'm really impressed with the Sarge's mastered use of the leadership cliché. Oh, just shut up, fools. Here it comes. It's coming around again. starting to pull your weight in this squad. Heck yeah, you can watch my back any day. Yeah, not bad for a new guy. Well, guys... Hey, let's just get back to the gold. It's been great to finally become a part of... Hey, guys, anyone actually thought about how we're gonna get the gold out of here? There you go again. Negative, negative, negative. Have you got any idea how heavy it's gonna be? We're gonna be the richest GIs in the world. Can't you just smell the coffee and be happy about that? Shut it, Haggard. I guess it was too good to be true. Look what your negative thoughts brung us. Oh, so this is all my fault? Doesn't matter. We blew it. Let's just get out of here before they spot us. Soldiers, what are you waiting for? Sir, uh, uh, we're a group of highly, uh, embedded, uh... Sir, the area is secure. Just waiting for new orders, sir. Take that truck and follow the convoy. The, the, uh, the, that truck, sir? Yeah, that truck full of, uh, scrap metal. Move out! Sir, yes, sir! Wars are fought for any number of reasons. Sometimes, if the ones they give you aren't good enough, you have to find your own. And, maybe, if you're lucky, 
you get out in one piece. But in the end, I guess it's really about the guys next to you. Trachosaurus Rex, here I come! Grad school, here I come! Woohoo! Let's go fishing! 